Friday, folks. So most of March so far, keywords so far has been above normal. Now, yesterday didn't feel like it was above normal, but we had an above normal high temperature because that high temperature occurred just after midnight uh, Sunday morning. So 72 degrees, that was the high temperature yesterday, but most of us not getting out of the middle 60s today. So if you like the cooler weather, you're really going to like my forecast. If you like the warmer weather, you'll probably enjoy Wednesday, and that's about it. We do have lots of sunshine and long view, mostly clear skies. We will start to see those clouds increase overnight tonight. That's because of a disturbance off to our north. But here are your temperatures. We are in the 50s and 60s currently and tonight will fall to a low of about 41 degrees, partly cloudy and chilly conditions for us and then those high temperatures for tomorrow afternoon almost on par with where we were today. I actually think we're going to be a little on the cooler side just based on the fact that we'll see more clouds than what we saw this afternoon. Satellite and radar one disturbance moving over the sooner state right now we've got our next weather maker which is still well out to our west this will be arriving on thursday and will give us a chance of showers and thunderstorms so here's how that's going to play out first and foremost the rain chances for tomorrow are not zero. We will have that storm system to our north, so don't be surprised if you see a shower or two, especially if you live along into the north of Interstate 30. That's two o'clock in the afternoon, but as we move into your Wednesday early afternoon, we should start to see more sunshine and it will be warm on Wednesday as well. We're probably back into the 70s and then heading into Thursday. There's the front. There's the disturbance. We start to see the radar fill in as a result. Showers and thunderstorms possible Thursday afternoon and some of these storms could be on the strong to severe side. I do think the main threat right now will be the threat of some flash flooding, so we will monitor that very carefully because it will take a while for the front to get here. Now, once the front moves through, we should have slightly more stable air behind the front, and that will give us a chance to really um, settle up the atmosphere a little bit, and that will effectively end our severe weather threat by early Friday morning. This is 10 o'clock. You can see a strong northerly wind settling in, and that, my friends, will make it much cooler. Here is a severe weather threat for Thursday. It's a slight risk or at least the equivalent of a slight risk for some scattered severe thunderstorms across our area, so this will need to be monitored. I don't expect a widespread severe weather outbreak, but nonetheless, you do need to be weather aware as you should always be in the springtime because this is now our primary severe weather season. Also, we do make a little detour back to winter as we move into this weekend. I already mentioned to you that the front was going to move through our area and because of that, we do have the potential of a light freeze not only Saturday, but Sunday morning. I think the best chance of this happening, seeing those 32, 31 and 30 degree readings will be a long into the north of Interstate 20. So if you've already planted, I would cover up those plants just in case. I'm not guaranteeing a freeze, but it is certainly within the realm of possibilities because look at these low temperatures here. 34 Friday night to Saturday morning, 55 degrees Saturday afternoon, 56 Sunday, 55 Monday. We'll see mostly cloudy skies as well, but no Thursday. Very good chance of rain. We're already up to 80%, so I can say with a high amount of confidence that we will see quite a bit of rain Thursday day and deep east Texas similar deal temperature wise we will be in the 40s for Tuesday or yes Tuesday and Wednesday mornings pretty warm Thursday but cooling off as we move into next week for the latest weather forecast you can head on over to KETK